Matthias here, not too far from Purdue's campus in Indianapolis, playing in the Adidas Invitational. What's this experience been like for you so far? Oh, it's been really fun. There's a lot of good teams here, a lot of college coaches walking around. I mean, I've even seen a couple of Purdue fans are walking around here, so it's exciting. It's, I mean, it, you feel close to home at all? You've been to Purdue a few times now, you're not too far away. I mean, just, I'm sure you see Purdue license plates as you drive in, that kind of thing. Yeah, the ride, the ride gets shorter and shorter every time, so it's, it's getting, feeling like home a little bit down here. You've had the coaches watching, you had, uh, I believe, Coach Painter last night, I Coach Gary watching it today. What, what's it like trying to you know put on a show for these guys now, especially now that you're commit? Well, that's exciting. You know they're gonna be your coaches in, in a year or two, so just to play in front of them and show them a little bit more what you can do, it's fun. I know uh, when we last we spoke, you were saying you wanted to kind of help your team, kind of uh, you keep uh, pushing, win some tournaments, and really uh, kind of make a run this month. How do you feel you guys are uh, working toward those goals? Oh, we're getting better. You know, we're a little rusty at first. We haven't played for a month, so we're getting back into the groove here. Hopefully, we can win our next game and then get get in the gold division and see if we can make a run. You've been, you know, you've done July before as an uh, uncommitted prospect, and as you know, I mean, there's pressure involved. There's so many aspects of that. Now you're committed. You got all your decision settled. I mean, how different is it now than before? As you're out here on the court. Oh, it's a little bit more relaxing, you know. You're already committed, so that's kind of off your shoulders. You can just go out and play, just try to win the game. It's a, it's more relaxing. What's I mean? What have the past few months been like for you as a Purdue commit? How have things changed for you? Uh, it's calmed down a lot. The whole recruiting process gets a little overwhelming. So once that was out of the way, just calm down a little bit. You can focus a lot more than before. Yeah, I mean, what uh, what are you hearing about the program, where it's heading, and uh, you know, kind of where you fit into that as well? Uh, they got a good freshman class coming in next year, so they're heading in the right direction. Last year they were that was a good down season for them, but it's looking bright. The future's looking bright. This class is why I know the last we spoke, you said you want to kind of help build this class. Vince Edwards, obviously the top prospect, but who are some of the other guys that I, I guess you'd hope to have join the class or guys that you've talked to, that kind of thing? Uh, I talked to Tyler Lewis a little bit. Purdue's still in the running. I don't know if we'll get him or not, but there's a couple other prospects we're looking at, so we'll have to wait and see. After July, it'll be a lot more clear. What, what, what can this class do for the Purdue program moving forward? I would bring a lot more versatility to it, a lot more skill. The guys, the guys that they're looking at right now, it's all they're all skill guys. So that's really what Purdue's looking for right now, and I think we can help them. How do you feel your game fits uh, Purdue, and how, what are you trying to do to uh, to change your game or you know fine tune it? I guess uh, the thing they like most about I mean, is versatility. You know, you can put it on the floor, pass it, shoot it. That's really what they're looking for. Last year they didn't have too many guys like that, but you know, the guys that are bringing in next year and they're recruiting now, they can all kind of do that. So this fits. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you.